Today I'm going to explain what are single page applications, how they work, and we're going to compare them to multiple page application and I'm going to show you examples of both a multiple page application and single page application. So first of all I'm going to explain what are multiple page application and how the web worked before single page application. And to illustrate this I have my Chrome browser here and a server. And before in multiple page application, this is multiple page application, what you would do is, let me take my mouse, you would go inside your Chrome browser and you would just request a page. Whoops. Request, make a request to a server and their server would get you some index HTML page. And you would be okay with that page and then uh, when this uh, page loads and you have some page, if you have some button here and you click on that button, what will happen is, I'm going to go here, imagine you click the button here, that button would uh, send another request to the server and the server would uh, get you a response of a new, brand new index HTML page or the thing is the point I'm trying to make is every time you make a request to the server in multiple page application you would get another or a new page but uh, and here I'm going to show you an example of how this looks like in action and the thing with this approach or with multiple page application is that every time you make a request the page refreshes and you see why that's important later. And here I have a an example of multiple page application, which is the New York Times. And if I go to this page, imagine me being here, and if I make a request like this, if I refresh the page, see it refreshes, it goes to the server, and then my internet is very slow. And then now, of course, if this finishes, I'll get a brand new New York Times page. And later, here on my second screen, imagine, I said imagine there's a button. So here I'm going to find a button, let's say energy. And if I click on the button, I make a request to the server, see it refreshes. And the, refresh, uh, the server gets me this energy and environment page. So it's a brand new page. And this is what happens with multiple page application. And now we're going to compare them to single page applications. What happens with single page application is you would uh, go and into your Chrome browser, make a request, and I'm going to now do exactly that. And I'm going to request a single page application, which is this one, reactjs.org. When I request this page, I will, of course, the, uh, this will refresh and I will look, make a request, get a response, which is this page. But then, uh, if I want to make another request, imagine this is my React page. If I want to make another request, let's see what happens in a single page application. If I now click on this blog button, as I did in this multiple page application, uh, this should re reload, right? But it doesn't. And I get my page. And what happened? Well, first of all, it's important for you to know that uh, usually single page application will, would uh, require JavaScript or some framework like React to, build, to be built or developed or view etc. And with these apps uh, the thing is that uh, it, uh, they're called single page application because you would make a request and usually you would get usually you would get just an empty index.html page but with uh, your framework of choice the framework uh, with whom the app was built like React you get the React bundle inside this uh, first response that you get and now you have 
a fully installed application here it's sort of like that controls your entire screen and now when you make a second request to the server you or you don't get a brand new you make a request you don't get a brand new page but you only uh, get some JSON data etc it's not like in uh, in multiple page application where you would click and get entirely new page but uh, routing basically happens in the browser when you're using uh, SPA and this gives the SPA or single page application very native mobile like desktop experience as you can see here if I just click on block I get immediately almost my block uh, section so all the, the routing happens in the browser there's no refreshing or anything like that